What's up guys, main man Sui here and welcome to Kazumi's 8 minute guide. Kazumi is a very basic and fundamental character that rewards very strong Tekken players who play with a great deal of patience, chopping down the opponent's health bar slowly rather than going for big chunky attacks and launchers all the time. She has strong movements and again very strong basic poking, locking down the opponents, stressing them, making them very wary of ever attacking, a little bit like her husband Hayashi, and then throwing a follow-up suddenly that hopefully counter hits, or throwing a fast counter hit launcher that hopefully counter hits into big chunky damage. She has a strong jab, very nice, she can do 1-1, one, one. only minus 3 on block, plus 6 on hit, can mix these up, jab and jab jab, very good. Uh, if 1-1 one, one connects, we'll do a very, very hit confirmable flash punch, classic classic Mishima string, 10 frame punish, 25 damage, knocks them down on their ass, and we get some nice Oki. Very good indeed. Downford 1, super long range uh, downford 1. 13 frames plus 6 on a normal hit, only minus 3 on block, but there's more, there's a follow-up, and again, just like her husband, downford 1-2, but this one has way more range. The first hit and the second hit, and it's super hit confirmable. And again, just like her husband, it will wall splat. So super deadly at the wall. And she has a very strong wall combo. Very nice. So Danford one alone offers quite a big amount of mix-up utility. Will she add the follow-up? People have to be very, very careful about that. So very good. Uh, Damak 4, just like her son Kazuya. Chunky at 17 damage, good range, no high evasion unfortunately, but plus 4 on a normal hit. Gives a lot of momentum. Um, gives you nothing on counter hit anymore, doesn't hit grounded, but still, still a great utility, great move, great move. Uh, Complements her arsenal so well. Uh, and then magic 4, I can't speak highly enough of this move. Minus 9 safe on block, 11 frame high counter at launcher. With pretty decent range. So uh, yeah, 11 frame counter at launcher into big damage. So very, very scary attack. You're gonna wanna find float charts and setups for this. And it can be as easy as doing, honestly, downward one on block or hit or jab plus one on block into magic four. Try to read your opponent, but it's just such a strong move. Uh, and then while running two, uh, Keblam, fast mid, long range knockdown, wall splat. Can, very hard to try to sidestep this. It's not like Dragonov's while running two, that's easy to sidestep. This is super good. And of course her new move while running one, plus seven on block, high. So you'll just mix these two, basically. Uh, and the thing is, these moves are good on block. Look at the pushback. And boom, you're at the wall. Down for one plus two. 40 damage, wall splatting throw into enormous damage, above average, average wall combo damage. So again, while running two and, and while running one, very good even on block. If there are walls, force them to the wall, and at the wall you have disgusting stuff. Again, wall helps, downward one, two, suddenly you get a wall splat, not only a knockdown into big damage, and you have a 40 damage wall splatting pro. Again, this is really good stuff. She's effective at the wall. Uh, and then, Fearless Warrior, back three plus four, backwards, Immediately uh, low crush, low evasion, can do it forward, can do it backwards, can cancel them into each other. And then as you can see, we have, uh, it's a stance. We have attacks from here. And this is where we have a classic 50-50. Uh, this is a hell sweep. Uh, launch punishable, obviously, if it's blocked. Uh, so a little bit gimmicky in that she gets a classic 50-50 from, uh, from a stance. And it's still nowhere near as effective as Kazuya's, considering you have to fly into it. Um, and then the mid options aren't that scary. This is minus 11 mid knockdown. You can do 1 plus 2, plus 4 on block, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can do a 3, safe on block at minus 7. But this is fuzzy guardable. It's 23 frames, much lower than the hell sweep. But she has some nice gimmicks from here. Wall splatting throw from Fearless Warrior. 
It's pretty cool to have. You can even do an unblockable with uh, Ford 1 plus 2. So again, there, there's some 50-50 utility and some neat shenanigans uh, from that stance. And then other moves are Kazuya's Ford Ford 3, she does with Ford Ford 4. Mid launcher, minus 7 on block however. Back 2 is a really nice homing space control move, long range mid. To just shut down movement completely, minus 9 on block though. Ford 4 is a good homing move, uh, I feel. Uh, and then 3 2, uh, mid high, natural combo, 15 frame. That's guaranteed. Or you can do 3 1, mid mid. But this one is unsafe at minus 13, but a pretty decent mix up. Uh, down for 2 for whiff punish is really nice. On block, this is minus 24, so be careful. But it's, it's a good whiff punish, considering our hop kick has literally no range whatsoever. Uh, but play more with patience, you know, like R slam. 1 1 2 is also uh, a, a great uh, punish. You don't always have to launch, uh, keep it safe. Uh, and then interesting mid, down for 4. It's very strong. Damage free is a good low, plus 2 uh, on normal hit. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, and then down back 2 3 4. Low, 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 and every hit. Is delayable so uh, you can play around with the timing there when you do launch someone she has some of the best wall travel she has insane wall travel punish 10 frame 1 1 2 12 frame 1 plus 2 into fearless warrior super big frame advantage and damage uh, great 12 frame 15 frame hop kick has no range so it's hard to launch with her at 15 you can do 3 2 for 50 damage this has great range uh, and down for 2 at 18 frames for bi big punish. Uh, while standing, 11 frame, while standing 4-4, four, four, hits like a truck. 12 frame, while, while standing 1-2. Turns into 13 frame from far away, really good. And while standing 3 at 14, launch at 15 with hop kick, but it has no range. While standing 2 at 18, delay hop kick for big sweeps. So how do we counter her? High, high evasion attacks or high crush attacks are great versus Kazumi due to the over-reliance or reliance on jabs and, and magic 4. So high, high evasion is great if you want to go in on her. Um, so please use that a lot. Uh, and if your opponent is lazy with downford 1 too, and let's face it, a lot of Kazumis are, they end the downford 1 a lot, uh, punish this, minus 13. Do the biggest punish you have. Uh, and then 3-2, a lot of Kazumis are super lazy with this, not even mixing it with the mid-mid version. Second hit is high, duck, launch punish. Uh, make sure to punish that, you see that so often. Make sure you break the downford 1 plus 2 throw. There's no reason, no real reason to duck Kazumi, uh, so you don't want to duck this throw, you want to break it. So make sure you can break uh, 1 plus 2 throw. Uh, it certainly helps against this character. And be ready for this throw if you ever have your back towards the wall, which tends to happen. Uh, punch parries are good, I feel, as uh, there's just a bombardment of jabs and down for one most of the time, so punch parries are good. Uh, the standing punish is kind of weak for 15. They often have to opt for, opt for that, so try to abuse attacks that are like minus 15. Um, if, if they don't have, if they have some pushback and she can't really launch you, so that's worth looking into. And same for while standing punishment. And that was Kazumi. Thanks for watching the video. Take care.